In this video, I'll show you how to create a KDP journal in Canva for free from scratch. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can create your own book covers as well as interior manuscripts for your KDP books. And you can replicate the process for your business, which will save you so much time. Hi, I'm Tina. If you're new here, a warm welcome to my channel where we share how to make passive income on Amazon KDP and I also show you how to find other legitimate side hustles to make money online including tips and tricks to help each other build income streams which is a way to financial freedom so if you like to see more of these videos consider subscribing to my channel let's drive right in so you might already have found a topic for your books and you are ready to create the cover and the interior for your book. If you have not found a niche or keywords for your books yet, you can watch my video in the description below where I talk about how you can find a niche and keywords for your KDP books. I'll be using Canva for this video to create the journal and you will need to sign up if you don't have an account yet. And all you need is the free version of Canva for what we are going to be doing today. You need Pexels or Pixabay or anywhere where you can get like images, backgrounds, graphics that you can use for your books. But today in this video, I'll be using Pixabay. We need a PDF merging website which we will require when we are done with the interior manuscript. For this, you can just go on Google and just do Merge PDF and then just use any of the free websites that comes up. I'll put all the links for everything that I have mentioned in the description below. So for the sake of the example in this video, I'll be creating a meditation journal for women. So first, we need to decide what we want the cover to look like according to the ideal customer for the journal. You can do research on Amazon.com for your keyword just to have an idea of what the competition is doing, like what type of covers they are using, what interiors are they using, just to get you started. So now let's go to amazon.com just to get an idea on what type of cover we can do for this journal. Let's get to books and write our main keyword, meditation journal for women in the search. All we need to do is to get an inspiration of the type of covers which are on the first page of this keyword search, which we can model for our own cover, right? I'm not saying copying, but modeling. I can see that there is a mixture of simple background covers and floral background covers with nice fonts of the title on the book covers a mixture of orange and green colors. I bet the target audience for this niche likes these colors. And I can see that some of these covers are using quotes in their titles. Just because people search for quotes, so they'll be finding these books that way. You should be doing more of this research for your books. But for this example, I will go for a floral cover and a title on the book cover now, before we go to Canva to start the creation process, we need to get the template from KDP, which will provide us with some formatting guidelines. KDP has wonderful resources in their help topics page. So you can read that if you want to know more about book formatting. So we need to create and download our cover template first. We will go to the download a cover template and follow the cover calculator and template link. You enter all the information of your book, binding type, interior type, paper type, interior trim size, and page count. Then KDP will do the calculations. Remember, our metrics are in inches. So you just press create design then come down to custom size, change the metrics to inches if they are not already in inches, then put 12.520 for the width and 9.250 for the height and create design. Then we need to add the dimensions template to guide us so that 
Our design should stay in the safe area, not to cross the borders, so that it should not get rejected by KDP. We can just double click it and right click on the image, choose set as background. It will fit on the whole area, as you can see. Now, let's add our book cover background. I will use the floral image for this. Double click. Now we need to drag and fit the image to fit the whole area like this. Now we can't see the template, so it's easy to cross the boundaries when creating the design on top of this cover. So we need to click on the transparency and reduce it so that we can see the template behind it at about this. Now we are able to see the template. Now we just need to add the text on top of the cover Amazon KDP requires you to add the title of your book on your book cover, either on the front cover or on the spine. The spine is really small for this journal, so we will just put the title on the front cover. First, let's lock the layers so that they should not move. Now we can add a box element by going to elements and choose any of the boxes that we need where we can put the title so that it can be visible otherwise it will be on a floral background and it will not be clear now adjust the box while looking at the template behind it so that you will not pass the lines i think i will use green background for this as i can see there is green on the flowers now i will need some text you can use some of these free text fonts in Canva. But you need to check the usage rights though, since you'll be using them on your books which you are going to be selling on Amazon. I'll pick this one. These two fonts are grouped together, so we need to ungroup them. All I need is the top font to write the title. Now, I'll change the text color to match the colors on the flowers as well. Maybe, let's try cream. Brown, no. Orange, no. I think I think white looks okay guys you can customize your designs to your liking I'm just showing you the process here and you can follow the same process and do what you like with your designs okay now our cover is done all we need to do is remove the template behind it and it's ready to go you can just push the top layer up a bit to access the template behind it and unlock it and then you just press delete put back the background in place we did not move the text box so it is fine 
Now we need to download it as PDF print, which is the format recommending for Amazon KDP. Now we need to design our interior manuscript for our book. If you are liking this video, hit the like button so that it can reach more people who might also find it helpful and also helps me know what you guys like so that I can create more similar content. We will now go back to home and create the design of our interior. Remember, our book is 6 by 9 inches, so that is what we need to put for our dimensions here. You cannot start adding lines from side to side of this template. You need to be in safe area. If you check the template again in KDP, you will notice that there was a safe area where you need your interior designs to be. If they go over that, it will be rejected by KDP. I have gone through this myself when I first started and I was finding videos where just drawing lines from side to side and say that it was okay but they have been showing errors and getting rejected by Amazon KDP because the lines were crossing over the safe area to avoid this we can use the template again for guidelines but myself I prefer using the ruler for this the aim is to leave some space on all sides now we need to go to file show rulers If you push this page forward towards the ruler, you can see that it is 6 inches wide. Now we need to draw our first line, leaving at least 0.5 on both sides. Now we just need to find a line element. Now we can just draw a line, press control, then it will go straight. Now let's copy this line. Then let's move this line down. Then again and again and then until at least we have four lines let's highlight these four lines copy and paste them to be a bit faster then let's just paste until we fill the page remember to leave room on top and bottom so i will just delete one line on the top and bottom There we have our inside line page. Quite simple, right? Now we need to add a blank page as first page. We will just add a design and maybe a belongs to text message for this page. Earlier, I just searched for flower in Pixabay and I found this image. So I will use this image for the design for this page. I will add one on the top copy it and then put another one on the bottom i'll just turn the one on the top to face down then in the middle i will add text
I will choose the same font that I did use earlier for this. So as before, we need to ungroup them first and then delete the other font. And then we are just going to use this other font and change it to our title. I will then delete this text and rewrite belongs to. Then I'll just put a line on the bottom where they can write their name if they wish. Then I'll make sure that all I am doing is within my margin. Now that's done. Then we need to press duplicate on this lined page so that we can have 60 pages. Now I will have it as our first 60 pages for the book. After that, I will just make a copy to make the second 60 pages. The reason I'm doing this is that with the free version of Canva, you are allowed only 100 pages at a time. So we will still need to make another 20, which is two. So I'll just prefer to do two 60 pages each. So this second part will just have line pages Apart from the last page, which I prefer it to be blank, I will take off this page as we already have it, then just duplicate the line ones to make it up. Then add a blank page at the end. Make sure there are 60 pages. Save and then download as PDF print. Now we need to make the two PDF files together. For this, we go to ilovepdf.com. You do not need an account, all you need is press merge PDF. Then upload the first file where you saved it. Then add the second file, then press merge. When it's merged, then you download it. Now after that, both the interior manuscript and the book cover are ready to upload in Amazon KDP. I'll just show you using a draft that I have in this account to see if our design will pass through KDP. I have uploaded both the files. As you can see, there is no error at all. No issues found. This is a barcode that Amazon put on the book. As you can see, it's all nice and good to go. Once I hit approve, then it will be ready for sale within 72 hours. So guys, that's the process. As time goes by, you will know all your corners and what works for you. If you found this video informative, like, share, and if you're new to the channel, press the subscribe and the bell button so that you will be notified when I upload another video on Amazon KDP topics. Until next time, bye-bye.